tools on the side bit smaller so you're able to get that KO nice and quick uh, off there, especially when you know you have a Qatar side signature which is really fast, really strong, and there's not that many recovery frames on it, so it's a little bit more difficult to punish compared to a lot of the signatures as we start off in game one, both members of these players on the gauntlets. Megd already starting off with a little couple hits, sending Radish off to the side. It's now, ooh, Radish tried to go for a read, but Megd with a wake up. Now, Radish with a side light recovery of his own. Megd just trying to stay within a parameter, but he's getting sent off the stage. That GC Yensig almost hitting. Now Radish gets a side light, tried to go for the read, couldn't quite find a hit. Nice neutral air, did pick up the dodge, but can't find any extension off of it. Radish sending Megd now into the red. He's kept him off stage at the moment. There's that side signature that I was talking about, almost taking out Radish. Reversing that edge guard, and now it's uh, Radish now picking up the orb. Gets enlighted on the behalf, though. He Ooh. comes back, try almost gets hit by the ground pound, narrowly avoiding that. He makes his way back. <laughs> Meg D, he does make his way back onto the stage. Sidelight missed, punished with a GC downline into the recovery, and Meg D takes the first stock. Radish not too far behind. I was going to push Meg D in a ledge guard. That down light definitely would have sealed his fate. Radius, you can see, even continues trying to push the ledge guard. Once the ledge guard, that's where Radius really, really shines. It's one of his best characteristics, and it's one of the things that he did best during BCX is just keeping people off the stage and knowing how to seal stocks just like a Ziploc baggie. Gonna push Meg D off stage yet again. Orb Ground Pound is gonna let Meg D sneak on by Metal Gear Solid type beat and continue his reign of terror on stage. Sare gonna end that reign, but still two minutes in. Meg D is in a pretty good lead right now. Quite tasty. Yeah, Radish at the moment, he is a little bit damaged, so he's going to have to try and figure out a way to break Meg D's incredibly strong neutral, because he's almost into the red. It'll only take maybe one or two moves to send him into the red. There it is, that side is going to put him into the red, so he's really into a KO percentage. Radish, he's trying to claw his way back with this orb. The, the, down, the dash down light, not really gonna help him out there he does make his way back gets an end light try to go for a side Ooh. signature punished again megdy's punish game is on point in game one. Oh, try to go for the side signature again but no megdy getting the punish catches a dodge a little bit now radish trying to hopefully try and catch himself uh maybe a ko here potentially with these gauntlets spot dodge megdy's gonna get a couple of hits in now He's gonna try and work his way around Radish with a side air, try to go for the ground pound. Wastes dodge with a GC, but Megd isn't gonna go down and try and punish him. Now with a weapon throw picking up the orb, trying to use that side signature, almost trying to zone Megd out and away off the stage, but none of them managing to hit. Megd gets a neutral light, try to find something else, but nothing else of the sort. Another punish there from Megd. Radish trying to catch himself a side air. Trying to reel it in, reel in this Meg D like a fish. He gets a side air there. The recovery from Meg D rushing back onto the stage. It is gonna hit Radish. Trying to sneak his way in. The recoveries aren't gonna hit. That GC is going to Ooh. be his demise. Meg D takes game one. And I definitely would not. I mean, as much as I'd be a little bit surprised, I wouldn't be too surprised if Radish wants to go back to that same setup because something about the way that Radish tried to approach that game. Didn't oh never mind man with the four, uh oh wait no they go nah uh Fortress Alliance actually being the very first map that they ban out along with Enigma so uh yeah something about Radish's approach during that first game something about it didn't quite feel it there was a time there were some times uh Meg D was trying to force Radish into certain kind of situations and Radish just refused to play that game tried to do something else and sometimes that would work but just in the situation that uh he was usually pulled into that was just kind of fighting the inevitable there were some times he probably should have rocked a little bit more defensively maybe a little bit more evasively but it just did not quite go as well he just wanted if he was gonna go down he was go down punching which is exactly Three, what two, happened one. but now brand new game new map entirely too this actually this map could benefit radius greatly because like i said those uh ledge guards is just i mean 
it's one of the things that Radish is one of the best at in the in the continent right now. So having such thin walls making uh, a Radish ledge guard even more punishing and uh, I guess oppressive is the word. This could be lethal for Magda, even right here, although Anair is going to be a good start to try and get a reversal. Radish is quite comfortable off stage, able to find his way back, and there we go. It's just throwing out signatures. I'm not sure if that's a bait or if it's uh, trying to read the approach or what it Ooh. is, but get used to seeing that desig. We're going to see that quite a few more times as a Sarah and a weapon throw. It's going to put Magda in an uncomfortable spot. He makes his way back though with a Sair, but he's gonna get get Definitely. himself caught with a side flight Sair that's gonna confirm the KO. On this map, I won't be entirely surprised if Radish is gonna use a lot more of that orb compared to game one, mm. which we are seeing right now, especially with uh, Demon Island having such small walls and a down sig that can basically cover out the entire area of that wall. It's... Like, Ooh. You're seeing oh that, like, Mickey was on his last strands trying to make his way back. Demon Island is going to be a really good map here for Radish, as he's working his way around, and he's put Meg D on his last stop already, and he hasn't been KO'd yet. So it's this is really looking strong for Meg D, uh, Meg D, Radish. It's looking strong for Radish at the moment. Such a huge turnaround already. Oh, really strong. One thing I said earlier is that uh, one of Meg D's biggest weapons and one of the best things he has at his disposal is also what makes it clear and how did oh no Radish. Well, no. That's okay. A little uh, bit unfortunate, but he yeah. has like a full stock advantage here, so it's okay. It's okay at the moment. Maybe a little bit uh, tilting on the mental side, but he's going to be fine. He's going to be completely okay for now, but he's got to try and avoid a lot of these Meg D hits, which Meg D trying to work his way back into the Katars, which is a weapon that's really good at just in advantage. It's just amazing. It is super strong as Meg D. Oh, he's making this. He's making this. On the gauntlets. He's trying to work his way back, huh? but Meg D. <laughs> That is I one of the strangest that. finishes I've seen in a tournament. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Both. I. This is like. I, I, what do you even call that game? Because, like, both of the stocks that Radish lost were SDs. Well, I. I. I don't know. I. <laughs> I'm a little bit flabbergasted off that. If he wants to go back I to Fortress Alliance, I think Radish is going to. Lie gonna, to you. I think Radish is going to take us to Apocalypse. Yeah, we don't want Enigma. He already lost on Fortress Alliance. Apocalypse just kind of made some sense. It doesn't, besides, it, this might actually not be too bad for either of these uh, characters. I feel like it might benefit um, each one just a little bit equally as enough. But yeah, no, that, yeah. I, Three, two, that last game, that was... It was it was it was a bit interesting, but we're going into game three. <laughs> that was one of the least games I've ever seen in a winners finals. The, the the game definitely did a little bit of a quirky game. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. But look, we're going into game three. It's tied one one at the moment. The map choice here it benefits both characters a little more compared to the other two. Uh, obviously, like game one, uh, Fortress of Lions was really strong for Meg D's uh, signatures kit. While game two de definitely tended to favor Whoa. Radish's a little bit more as he sneaked in a GC Ensig on the side. Yeah. Make D getting that M light into the recovery, which it is confirmed without the dodge. But yeah, this uh, game three, the map is definitely, you know, doesn't really favor either player as much, which is a little bit of an interesting pick to see. Gonna be uh, completely honest here. But at the moment, we are seeing that. Oh my goodness, that neutral signature, not enough. Sidelight into the side, and that's gonna take the KO. Lovely bit of work from Radish to take the first stock in game three. Yeah, Radish's approach is. It's a little funky. He's been a lot more trigger happy with these signatures, which, I mean, the lead attacks on their own were working so good during the last game. I know then you're kind of uh, teaching Meg D which spots to avoid by really only using light attacks, knowing, oh, he's not going to use signatures. So I understand signatures would be a good mix up, but like, the more that you try to use them, it feels like the less that they work. And even now, so that Meg, that Raiders kind of realizes, like, I, I can't really get away with that many uh, signatures. I. 
Reyes's uh, approach is quite tricky because those uh, those signatures are one of the reasons that he's able to get such good ledge guards every single time. But Megti's just not letting it hit, and they stayed stacked for like an entire two whole seconds, and they're gonna continue to stay stacked for us a little bit more. Megdi has these punishes down on locked. However, he's running out of recovery options sometimes on stage, so is actually offering up a little bit of stage control to Megdi. I mean, to Radish, but now. Megdi is starting to pick up the pace, especially since they're starting to be a little bit more damaged. They have to. They need to try and get the stock lead, but a little bit more damage. Shift orange to red, and then soon to be red to white. That is, unless Raiders can capitalize big right here. Yeah, you're seeing him use that down signature to try and trap Megdi in, as he's going to get the edge guard again. There's that dash jump side, and Megdi try to use his recovery to go a little bit high and potentially go even further, but Radish, really smart there to just latch on. He gets a stray side air, and that's going to end up getting him the KO, which is going to take give him a little bit of this lead, as he's going to try and keep Megdi off of a weapon, uh, which is... Look, it's in a tournament! Fair enough. Well, get, making sure that your opponent isn't going to get a weapon is going to give you the advantage, and it's going to keep him alive here. That recovery, not enough to, to get the KO off Meg D just yet. Yeah, that side air is barely going to do it. We are tied here. One stock to each, and one game each. So this is this game. This lot. This set of stocks could be. Potentially uh, worth it for- Oh, there's a GC side signature, but Radish got hit by it once. He ain't gonna let it happen again as he jumps over it. Try to keep Meg D out off the stage again. Side light side air. Gonna do it oh again. Meg D wasting his dodge. He's Is he gonna be able to make it back in time? Waste his dodge again. Try to get hit by the recovery after the nair, but it's not gonna be enough. There's a side air there by Radish. Meg D trying to make his way back now. He is on his last strands to Can try and make clean. his way back into the dodge. That's going to do it. That neutral is going to get the KO, and Radish is now up 2-1 to one in this set. There were a few moments where Megdi proved that he could really take this if he wanted to. For some reason, something just slipped, and Radish kind of shifted the game speed out of what Megdi was comfortable with. This was something I was trying to say. Ooh, we do see the... Eh, close enough. We do see the level 100 Val coming out. Just honestly, a trail of bodies behind this Val. Uh, but yeah, one of Meg D's greatest weapons is also what makes it sometimes, uh, in theory, kind of easy to figure out how to counter him. Meg D just controls the game speed so, so well. If he wants to speed it up and put you out of comfort zone and kind of rush you down a little bit, he will. If he wants to slow it down, drag it out, and really wear you down, he will do that. Shifting the game speed out of what Meg D wants it to be is huge. In fact, sometimes you might even say for some players, maybe even like Radish here, that could be, I guess, like a, a win condition to just make sure that Meg D isn't in complete control, which, let's be honest, he usually is. It's very hard to snatch control over away from Meg D, and that's why it takes a player like Radish to capitalize on those moments so much to take a one stock game and this sword is already looking so much okay that was a good weapon star i no that was just a good weapon star i'm actually like i know we're impressed by like reads and stuff but that weapon star was clean this is already looking like a completely different meg this is this is scary for radish this is scary for radish look at this or oh, he just finally gets hit by the the uh, three piece there on the orb, but oh that side air! Flash, oh, Meg flash. D. oh, hang on, hang on, Radish! Oh. <laughs> he got hit so much by the sword, and Radish just went, okay, hang on, let me cook, let me cook a little bit, and cook he did, and he burnt Meg D to a crisp on that stock. Meg D finally gonna get a KO with an unarmed downlight into the ground pound, but now Meg D on his own. Uh, he's gonna have to tr he's gonna try and work his way around Such a flurry of stocks have already been lost here and uh, it's it's at the moment It's it's really hard to call how this is gonna play out Radish Picks up the dodge. He's gonna get a couple oh of in. try to go for the ground pound a little bit of an overextension there not gonna get punished too much for it now both of these players on gauntlets Hopefully trying to figure out a way to just break out of the neutral once again 
but now it's not looking too great. Raiders Whoa. trying to go for a stray side signature. They're not going to be able to hit, though. There's a neutralite. Raidish sent back off the stage, but he's going to make his way back. Now picking up the orb after getting away off the gauntlets. Hopefully, that's going to be able to uh, just give him an edge here. Megdi trying to go for the read, but he's going to eat an orb nair for it. Side light into the side air. Meg D did touch though, he was on the sweat beads, but no, he's gonna make his way back now. Meg D on the sword gets hit. He's gonna be sent way out to the side. There's a couple down, there's a down signature there from Raidish. Neutralite, Meg D did make his way back. Side signature, <laughs> that's gonna put Raidish on his last stock. Yeah, no, Jerry, you said it earlier. Um, the, the reason that Val is this color is because Radish cooked him so hard, he burnt. That's a burnt Val right there. And a lot of what's happening in this game is Meg D just trying to answer back. Can't answer back for that NSYNC, though. That's going to even out stocks Radish. Free choice of weapons. Choose to starve and rock with Orb. Uh, gravity cancel side like to keep Radish in place for Meg D to pick up gauntlets, which is actually not going too bad, but going to pick up a few punishes and a few stray hits from here, from here and there. Radish isn't able to completely turn this into anything, but this could be Meg D's bracket stock. Meg D needs to take this stock just to bring it to a game five, just to last a little bit longer in the bracket. Radish could close this out in the next minute. He's feeling good. Yes. I mean, there's a down like down air there from Meg D. He's really keeping Radish. Uh off the edge of ground pound radish losing a little bit that's of strength gets hit by another ground pound that's and a, five. Third a third one that's gonna put this game into number five for this set and it's it's a really tight contest i called it earlier it's a tight contest between these two it's looking really impressive map bands are now coming out and Radish at the moment has Enigma, Demon, and Fortress banned at the moment. And right now it's... It's, uh... Okay, he's banned Western Air Temple, so he's left Brawlhaven, o Brawlhaven open. He's left Miami Dome open, and he's keeping Apocalypse there still. We're going to go back to Apocalypse, and not really expecting much else there from these two. But Game 5, and it's going... It's been back and forth tussle between two incredibly strong players of this game. And we're going into a game five. Winner of this puts themselves in a comfortable spot for grand finals. Let's get this underway. Radish try to go for a huge read early there. Try to pick up the dodge, but he's going to put himself on the orb. Meg D without a weapon for the first couple seconds here. He floats himself around. He latches onto one now. Radish trying to work his way around with this orb. Meg D gets a nair, but Radish makes his way back onto the stage. Gets himself a bit of touching distance. Try to go for a side signature. That recovery going to put Meg D in the orange. Try to find some more here. There's a Meg there's a recovery there from Meg D. He's trying to find a couple other ones. Neutral light punish there from Meg D. As Radish try to go for a side light, but Meg D wasn't really going to try and overextend himself. Radish sends himself high. He does manage to touch there. There's a side air. Radish gets the death signature. That's going to get the KO. And he is one up already in game number five. That is huge for Radish. That is going to be one hell of a start. We have seen Meg, Lee, Meg D neutralize starts just like this. So Radish is going to have to put up a little bit of extra work done. You know, just because he has the early lead doesn't mean this game is, you know, immediately in a good spot for him. Meg D is able to control the speed of the game. Not just have influence over it. Control, oh, demand man. the speed of the game. But Radish is putting that possibility out of him. Rare decent coming up from Radish. We don't really see that much. Sometimes people who, uh, who have a lot of practice on one character in particular, just like Radish with Petra, they can be very picky and choose about what signatures they choose. So that d pretty rare. Hopefully that's the sort of signs of Radish Ooh. crumbling a little bit and um, Radish saying like, oh, I need new options. I'm running out of options because he can't. Can't escape that delight sare meg d can even out stocks but at what cost to even out stocks that red i mean it there's there's better places to be that on uh red on really any stock although meg d starting to even this out the sword look at it pretty clean is that sort of broom because he's doing some cleaning 
Yeah, it's uh, at the moment, Makedi is in a little bit of a strife on this second stock, but he's doing well to not uh, manage to catch himself in a lot of damage. Uh, which it's been working out at the moment. He's uh, tried to, he's level, he's managed to level it to orange, but that side air there from Radish gonna put Meg D way out to the side. The down signature and then with coverage into the ground pound takes Meg D and puts him on his last stock for the set. That is okay. Look, I've seen a lot of Petra shenanigans happen in oz we have a level 100 play a level 100 petra i've seen a lot of things happen on a petra petra but that is look you don't see that every day you don't see that every day meg d now he is like a downlight something away from being able to take this ko but radish is doing really well to avoid a lot of these downlights meg d really trying to try and fish one Oh, side signature, not going to be able to hit, try to find, he's trying to find something here that'll be able to get the KO, but Radish is ready for anything at the moment, another downlight that he's managed to force Meg D to whiff, he's trying to find something else, recovery, Radish isn't going to punish it, that neutralite is going to send Radish off the stage, he's wary of a side sig, but he's gonna make his way back Ooh. without much harm that side air is gonna finally get the ko both of these players on their last stock in this winner's final it is all up to this mech d has got to play really well to be able to not get too close to a ko range for this petra but it's not looking the greatest for him as he's tr gonna try and work his way around with a couple nares there, Radish gets one of his own. He can't get quite the extension for it. The spot dodge from Meg D is gonna be punished. Now Radish on the orb, keeping Meg D off of a weapon. Meg D gets a side light on the sword into the side air. Try to find something else, but Radish dodges through it. There's a side air there of Meg D. This is looking super close. GC oh. side lights air. That's not gonna be enough just yet. Meg D is gonna make his way back. Wasted dodge, try to get the side air, but that arm down air, no, that side air either isn't going to be enough. Try to find some more. There's a side light there from Meg D. He's going to pick up the gauntlets now. Hopefully try and find something, but it is anything at all, at all as Radish takes game five, and he's going to put himself into grands. Burning him like a marshmallow. He, <laughs> he did some cooking right there. Honestly... I'm happy we let this man cook. Burning Meg yes, like Radish, ladies and gentlemen. Him, sending him down a, a lower bracket. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Chef, Chef Radish, take a bow.